Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Biking Banter. Yes, we are back and we are trying our best to stay consistent with our videos. Today's video is going to be an overview of what helmets we have in India and I will also try and explain to you how uh, different brands make different helmets, what are the materials that go into uh, motorcycling helmets, what are the safety norms and uh, the current ISI fiasco that uh, all of us motorcyclists are facing. So. Uh, Let's just get started. So uh, starting with SMK Helmets' uh, Stellar series. Uh, most of the riders would be familiar with this helmet because this has been here for a long time and uh, it has actually seen a lot of uh, price gain as well. So this particular model, the shell design, this has been here I think from 2015 and uh, this thing retails for 4,000 rupees. This is a polycarbonate shell and if you look at the paddings, it is somewhat like this. It comes with a micrometric ratchet. You also have an anti-fog on this, but this is not by Pinlock company. This is what SMK, you know, kind of manufactures and puts on its own. So this is a pretty good helmet. If you are someone who is upgrading from something like Studs or Vega, and this will do the job. And uh, the next helmet that we have here is a brand new uh, series by SMK. These are called the Typhoon and uh, it kind of has a little futuristic uh, features in it as in just aesthetic wise, not practically. So it has like an incorporated spoiler in it and it looks the part. Also, this is dual visor. So you also have a sun visor. That's how it looks. This also has a micrometric ratchet. And if you see the paddings on this, if you have seen the SMK Titan, the paddings are somewhat similar to the SMK Titan. You also have a two-step chin guard. Uh, people who are into motor vlogging, this might help you cut down the wind noise. This also has a polycarbonate shell. SMK are slightly on the heavier side and the weight balance is not like bang on. So uh, moving on, understanding what kind of materials riding helmets are made of. Uh, the most common material that is used is polycarbonate and then we have thermoplastic shells and we have carbon fiber composites then there is fiberglass and in few cases there are other composites that uh, go into motorcycling helmets that are used in race use if, for example ri as a manufacturer uses a different uh, composite of its own and that is actually patented so that's why ri helmets are a lot different from these uh moving ahead this is axer so Axer is a brand that is actually owned by Vega. Uh, most of you might not know, but uh, Axer is a premium offering by Vega. This is the Axer Apex variant and this is the Sea Devil graphic that's somewhat new. So in comparison, if we compare SMK and Axer, I feel Axer gives you a better offering because you have uh, a Pinlock company Pinlock in it and that's a Pinlock 30. Apart from that, even the paddings are super plush. And the best part, it comes with a double D-ring. So that's a lot safer when SMK. And you have a dual visor as well. So all of this, you're looking at something that's in 5,000 budget. So yes, that's a good package for you as a beginner helmet. You can even tour on it, but then, but yes, uh, yes the, it is slightly on the heavier side. And according to me, it is not just the weight that matters for you, a touring person. What actually matters is the weight balance because if a helmet shell is front heavy or rear heavy or the weight balance is not bang on, you might have some stress on your neck. That's what actually matters. It's okay if the helmet weighs 1500 grams or 1550 grams, but at the end of the day, what actually matters is it, the weight is evenly distributed and the weight concentration is not at a single point. So if we see Axer or SMK, I uh, think that they are rear heavy. And even if you like lift your head a little, you can feel the weight on your neck. But when we go for brands like Scorpion or Bell, the weight balance is much better and the strain on your neck is a lot lesser. Okay, so moving ahead, this is the uh, all new Joker edition by Axa. So just like H just like HJC, even Axa have, I think, signed a contract with DC Comics. So we are going to have few uh, great character graphics in Axa Apex series. This is the Axa Joker, Axa Apex Joker. This is brand new, the graphic look pretty rad and this now also has ISI certification. So this comes with EC dot and ISI. So 
for people who are always confused about the kind of certifications there are in helmets so ece is the european certification where they tell for two impacts uh, dot is only an honorary certification and isi as we know is indian jugadu certification i'm sorry isi is the indian certification so uh, moving ahead this is the axer rage carbon warfare this is a super lightweight helmet compare it with the axer apex series and uh, you can see the carbon fiber resin on top of it looks super good this thing also comes with a spoiler but the side of this is this is a single visor helmet it is not a dual visor and this also comes with a double d-ring just like the axer apex you can see the paddings are not that plush but they're okay this is a very comfortable helmet and it's very lightweight so if you're someone who's in the market looking for a lightweight helmet at a cost of 8000 that is a good option for you because you also get the spares and all very easily for this one and it's not uh, much of a problem uh moving ahead we have ls2 once upon a time this was like the brand to go to if you were looking for a good motorcycling helmet and uh, this particular model is actually a thermoplastic shell and it is comparatively a lightweight helmet even the graphics are good the shape is reworked and uh, sun visor mechanism works like this even the coverage of the is a little more when compared to axer this comes with a micrometric ratchet not with a double d-ring it helps in touring but double d-ring is race spec so it is a little safer the paddings and all are super good on this and uh, that is that so this also we uh, we are getting these with isi now the, these are isi certified ls2 helmets so yes it makes a little bit easier if you are from a city like bangalore or pune where the cops have the knowledge and not having an isi certified helmet next moving ahead this is a very interesting helmet because this is the mx 700 subverter by ls2 super light amazing helmet full of vents even if you look at the padding, the padding is super plush and it is a double. The balance of this thing is crazy good. I've seen few Scott and Scorpion offered helmets. This is at par with their quality and uh, this is not a very cheap helmet because this thing retails 15,500 which is not less. And LS2 does, uh, I've seen on the box MIPS, but uh, I failed to put liner inside the shell. But if it comes with MIPS, this is an amazing helmet. And as you can see, this is also ISI certified now. And as this is the latest stock, I'll have to check if it truly is MIPS. And also this comes with a five-year warranty. So kudos to LS2. I think LS2 is coming back in the game and pretty strong in it. So uh, we'll have to look. This is a proper dual sport helmet by LS2. This is the MX43 motor. And uh, you have like a full visor in front. Then you have the dual visor. And uh, that's how it looks. It also has a nice little coverage. Then when you the padding, it's super good. Nice and comfortable. And it comes with a micrometric ratchet. The MX700 subverter comes with a double D-ring where they are different. Also, this has grooves to accommodate your uh, speakers from your intercom. So, this is a nice touring helmet. This retails for 8750 So, that is a good option if you are riding a 310 GS or an Adventure 390 and you are looking for a nice dual sport helmet. This would do a nice good job because other helmet in this budget that offers so many features. So yeah, again, LS2 uh, there for you. Then moving on to imported brands, we have Bell, Scorpion and Aero. Starting off with, uh, this is a qualifier. So Bell is almost a hundred year old American brand that uh, is specialized in making more uh, a lot of brand. So the way Bell makes their helmets is very different. Uh, aesthetically they look very normal but safety wise they are class leading and this is a single visor helmet if you look at the paddings 
super plush super comfy and they come with a double d-ring so uh bell gives you five year warranty for its shell uh and that says how good their quality is because this is a polycarbonate shell your five year warranty so uh shelf life of a normal polycarbonate helmet is three to four years after that the shell hardens and the helmet can do more damage than protect you so when bell is giving you a five year warranty on the shell that only says that how nice materials they've used into the the bell qualifier you can get it for nine thousand so if you're looking for something that's uh under ten thousand or ten thousand rupees the bell qualifier makes a very good option for you uh moving ahead in the same budget range we also have the scorpion uh scorpion helmets huge fan of because packaging and their feature spec is crazy good this here is the exo 390 this is also a shell this comes with a five-year warranty and it also has a uh, special feature of a visor lock so just to keep a little more airflow you can open the visor this much and it won't budge then you can also lock it like this and it won't lift this is a nice little feature i would like to have on my helmet if i'm using one and if you even look at the paddings nice contoured cheeks and uh, very plush wheel uh, even bell is antimicrobial so uh, this comes with a micrometric ratchet and not a double d-ring just like the qualifier and this nice uh, touring under the 10,000 range because there's hardly any wind noise in all scorpion helmets they are very silent and very comfortable even the weight balance on this one is super good and you won't even feel it if you're coming from an axer or ls2 to this next what we have is currently the most expensive helmet here this is the aero valor this is sam uncle's finish and this here is a sharp five rated helmet so uh, sharp rating is a huge thing and the way sharp rated helmets are tested is super vigorous so when it says sharp five it means that it is super safe for you and all of this for just 1400 grams yes it's super light i can't even feel it that i'm lifting it it is that light if you look at the padding it's amazing you do get a chin curtain in the box uh, it is actually taken off this comes with a chromatic ratchet this is intercom friendly and uh, this retails for 14500 so yes if you're looking for something that's under 15000 then this is a good option for you but mind you that with the current isi fiasco that is going on it is difficult to find helmets that are imported because they obviously are not isi certified but they are ece and dot certified which also means that there are a lot more safe standards because of the government policies these stocks are going almost like thin air for three or four helmets that are imported uh, the remaining of our all isi certified which is ls2 axer and smk so uh, these are good options as well but i guess it's gonna take the market at least a year and a half as to you know scorpion bell agv and the likes of ailer to get isi certification moving ahead on to the budget helmets what we have here are the uh, vega bolt series because uh, these are a good offering they are dot certified helmets and so if you're looking that's under 2000 and you're looking for something that actually looks good aesthetically then you can go for the vega bolt this is how it looks it's a super famous helmet you might either own it or half of you might know about it so for 1900 this gives you a nice offering Tinted visor you get a nice spoiler at the rear then you get a micrometric uh, ratchet system you also get a small curtain so this is a good option if you're looking for a budget full face helmet. So uh, that's where we conclude our helmet overview video today. And uh, I hope you guys like this episode as well. And uh, thanks for the amazing support and your feedback. It really matters to us a lot. And it helps us to, you know, uh, stay consistent in making videos and gives that confidence boost. 
uh, let us know in the comment section uh, what you like us to review or make a video on next and also subscribe to our channels hit the bell that, uh, you stay updated with our uh, videos and let us also instagram handle at uh, bikers upload official and stay tuned for the next video see you next tuesday bye bye